have to first say thank you so much. I'm beyond, you know, elated to be here on the stage sitting here with you and I had this opportunity. I, for, frankly, the book came to me personally um, and spoke to me in, in many ways personally, which I'm sure I will talk about a little bit in the book. But first, if we can jump in with just how you came up with the title of the book and what you mean by Super Rich. Well, Super Rich, the title actually came from my ex-wife, Kamora. Um, <laughs> trying to describe to her what the book was about. It was called Rich Inside and Out. But um, the first chapter was Redefining Rich, and I kind of want to talk about it because that I wrote the book in two months. The first chapter took 10 more months because the first chapter, when I redefined rich, the state super rich is a state of consciousness, the state of needing nothing. Now, I figured if I left it at that, and if I described super rich, this consciousness that everybody would throw the book out because they, they didn't buy the book. They, they want the book because they want worldly success. But I have to say, it's not the secret. The worldly success is a fringe benefit. The success in coming to the core is first and very sticky and very attractive. And one thing I uh, read, my brother, is you know, along the site, a long line of uh, prosperity preachers from Reverend Ike and Bishop Jordan. And Reverend, my brother, you know, they, you know, they got Rolls Royces and stuff, you know, they, you know what I'm saying, they're prosperity preachers. You know, that's their rap, you know, that's their they thing is, you know, to inspire, to have it here now. And, but I think it's like, I think Jesus taught two sermons, though. He taught one to the masses who were anxiety prone and had to pay the Romans their taxes on time. And the rap was, you know, to be a good servant, be a good giver. To be a good giver, you'd be a great getter. And as a carrot, you'll be a great getter. You'll pay the Romans in taxes. Relax. Be a, good, be a good servant. And they would trade the masses. He told his disciples, be a good giver. Be a good servant. And you'll be happy. You'll be closer to God. And of course, those people, they were more prosperous. It was very easy for them because they gave without expectation. And good givers are great getters. And a, great, uh, a greater giver is a giver without who gives from his heart and freely, much more attractive than the guy who comes trading. You know that. Here come the guy, he got a rap, but he really wants some return. Here, come, here comes the guy who just wants to make you better. You choose that guy who makes you better. So there are two sermons. And this book is based on the one that was to the disciples that made them even more prosperous and, even, and more at ease and happier and closer to God.